Bill Gates, the world-renowned health expert, philanthropist, and medical doc... Uh, sorry, actually, software engineer? Anyway, he's telling us that we need to stop eating red meat because that's the only way that we can fix climate change. Reduce population. Useless humans. First, we've got population. Now, if we do a really great job, we could lower that by perhaps 10 or 15 percent. Uh, sorry, guys, no idea where that came from. It's obviously nothing to do with that. But moving on swiftly, so the good news is you don't have to worry because there's lots of very tasty and exciting alternatives that we have to look forward to. We're all so lucky. Now, of course, one of these things is synthetic meat, which has been grown in a lab, which looks really tasty. Never mind that this is ultimately made from genetically modified cancer cells. You are literally eating cancer cells. But don't worry, look away, there's obviously nothing that could go wrong with that. Also, you should probably ignore the fact that uh, Italy as a country completely banned this abomination over concerns of turbo cancers. And of course, the USA has decided to go full steam ahead with this. But if you're a right-wing conspiracy theorist, one of the strange individuals who this doesn't appeal to, and lab-grown meat doesn't tempt your appetite, then don't be disappointed because there's lots more in store for you guys. Klaus Schwab and his minions at the World Economic Forum tell us useless eaters that instead of eating meat, we should all be eating insects. In the words of Lise Hackelbrack, the owner of one of these edible insect companies, um, he's talking about when the population reaches 9 billion, it won't be possible to let everybody eat meat. And so we have to search for other possibilities. Did you get that? They said they're not gonna let us eat meat. Hmm. Now this is a massive industry. And just since 2020, insect production companies have raised over one billion dollars in funding. Products you can look forward to include cockroach milk, cricket flour, mealworm brownies, and of course, our custodian, Dr. Bill Gates, has funded at least one of these insect companies. Of course, he's hedging his bets. And this one's called All Things Bugs. Now, whilst these guys started out as just a normal insect production company, they decided to step up their game slightly and are now genetically modifying those insects. Just a quick side note, I made a brand new Rumble channel to discuss ideas which are not considered acceptable by certain platforms. So you can find the link below. With funding from DARPA, they're now using CRISPR gene editing technology to literally create new insects. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So not only will the useless eaters be given insects to eat instead of meat, but there's a good chance they'll be GMO insects. But aside from their lovely flavor, their aesthetics, and their pleasant, crunchy texture, you'll also be pleased to hear that there are other benefits to consuming insects as well. One of those being that they're an excellent source of beneficial microbes. One of those is a parasite called toxoplasmosis. This wonderful bacteria, often associated with cat feces, is capable of penetrating the brain and has been strongly associated with schizophrenia, depression, and Alzheimer's disease. Other beneficial microbes include the parasite Cryptosporidium, Isospora, which can make its way to the spleen, liver, and bile ducts. Entamoeba histolytica, which is classically associated with human dysentery. And tapeworm, among many others. That's right, the science shows that edible insects, particularly insects that have been farmed, are massive reservoir for parasitic diseases. One study found parasites in 80% of all sampled insects, with more than 30% of those being potentially pathogenic for humans. The authors of this study go on to conclude, edible insects are an underestimated reservoir for human and animal parasites. Our research indicates the important role of these insects in the epidemiology of parasites pathogenic to vertebrates which includes humans. And with that considered, you can probably be sure that it's only gonna be us useless eaters that are forced to eat these critters. But even though the proponents of this, such as the UN Food and Agricultural Organization, claim that these foods are more sustainable and have a lower carbon footprint, the response from members of the general public has gone maybe a bit worse than they originally expected. What a shocker. So to counter this frankly irrational and unexpected response from the general public, there are government think tanks which have suggested using subtle techniques. These are to psychologically nudge the members of the population uh, to publicly accept 
insect-based foods. And of course, a surefire way to implant ideas like this directly into the mind is to get them young, which is clearly what they've been doing in our schools already. You can see how there are many different educational programs talking about the benefits of consuming insects. So all things considered, we've got a lot to look forward to and I'm really genuinely excited. So you can feel safe and secure knowing that with a growing population, you will own nothing, eat bugs and be happy.